Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to attach beams to a tree. Usually when you build a tree house, this is the foundation of the tree house and it's going to hold most of the weight. It's a very simple method. I'm going to teach you uh, step by step. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So basically all you need is a beam uh, you want to attach to the tree and some slings uh, to hold the beam in place and a lot of pulley prop. We start off by making a, uh, it's called a club hitch or a master roof, uh, a master roof spin stick um, around the, the beam. I'm pretty sure you all know how to do this knot. Um, otherwise, maybe I can teach some other time, but for now, I'm assuming that you all know how to do it. Let's spare some extra rope. And then we do the spin stick here. Now comes the important part. Um, what we want to do is we want to uh, take the rope around the tree like this and then around the beam and around the tree underneath the beam. So we end up here again. Now we have to do this uh, depending on the weight you want to have on the treehouse, you can do it five times, six times, or sometimes even up to 14, 15 times. Um, it's very important that when you do this, uh, now comes the second uh, round. So it's important that the rope goes the second time, it goes on the outside of the first rope. Um, and when you go around the beam, you have to go on the inside of the rope, so on this side. And same counts for when you go this way here, on the outside, and on the inside here. So once you've done that a few times, now I've done it four times, um, you can uh, choose to make a master roof again here. Or a it. And of course, while tying this, while doing all this, it's nice to keep your rope somehow organized because it's a lot of rope to deal with when you do big beams and so on and it easily gets very chaotic if you don't have some kind of system to keep your rope in place. Um, so, now that we have a clavage here, we uh, can leave the rope for a bit and it's time to, uh, to tighten this um, this uh, structure and for tightening the structure we're going to use a carabiner um, there are various ways of tightening this rope um, but this is what i learned so now i'm going to teach you how i do it so what you want to do is you want to attach the carabiner to the starting point where you started uh, where you started the nut and then you want to pull as much as you can through all the way through, through the whole structure of the of the nut of the winding, and you want to do that a few times because, as you see right now, as I'm t as I'm pulling, I get a lot of loose rope, and that's what you're kind of um, so you have to kind of eliminating this so to pulling this all the way out of the out of the the nut.
So now that we are done, we pull over and then we tighten the club hitch like this. The bead's getting really tight now. So, so what you would do, uh, usually, you want to do this quite a few times, maybe four or five times, depending on how strong or how solid you want the beam to be to, to the tree. Um, it's also worth noting that when, when you do these nuts, uh, it's definitely recommended that you are two people who do it. So one standing on this side and one standing behind. Uh, so you kind of hand over the rope and hand over the carabiner while you do this. Uh, it's much easier, it goes faster and it's less uh, exhausting. Now we have come to the last part of tying this, uh, the beam to the rope, uh, to the tree. Um, so what we want to do now, we want to uh, open up the, the club hitch that we made before, so that we can get the rope going again. So what we're going to do now is that we are going to take the rope and put it around, I can, I'll show you. Uh, in Germany it's called Würgung, so like kind of strangling. Um, we're going to start up here, then we want to go underneath, uh, between the tree and, uh, and the beam. I want to go around like this. As you see, this kind of uh, structure. A rule of thumb is kind of that you do this as many times as you tie around the beam. Um, so yeah, we'll do it four times. And there's no special way, like how the rope has to, to be um, when you tie this knot. Uh, something that's recommended is that you, while doing this, you kind of make sure it's really tight. Because this is the most important part of the knot. And then once again, we tie a master spear and stick, a club hitch here at the end to uh, to finish the the nut that we've made to finish the to finish tying the beam to the tree. Make a strong master of here. And then a spear and stick. We have quite a lot of rope left, but usually you want to, before you even do this nut, you want to take measures to see how much rope exactly you need so that you don't have to fiddle around with too much rope or or so on, it just makes it a bit more complicated. Like now, for example, when I have to do the last knot and I have so much rope here, it's just a bit annoying. And there you have it. This beam is solid attached to the tree now. So what we're gonna do now is remove the sling. And there you have it, a beam. Usually it moves a bit, has to get in place. And then now it's completely as it should be. 
solid and strong. And you can build your big treehouse palace on here. Amazing.